Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this tutorial, we will learn about checklist box in C Sharp Visual Studio. So let's start. First, I will create a new project. So I'll click on this file, new, new project. And here I will select this window form app, which is already created, uh, selected. I will click next. And now here I will give the project name. So I will name it checked list box demo. And now I will hit enter. I, I will click this create to create the project. Now the project is created and we have this uh, empty window form here. If I run this, you will see that nothing is available on this uh, window form. So I will close it, come to these tools, and I will drag this checkbox list, and I will drag another one as well. Now, why I drag two uh, checklist box? We will populate this first one um, with designer, and this will be populated uh, through programmatically. Now I will also drag a button. On this button click we will show the item that is checked in each list box. So I'll change the text on this uh, button to get checked item. And now I'll come here so first we will add some items in this uh, list checklist box so the first item will be one two three four and five and if i hit ok you will see that five items are created here. Now I will add, uh, now let me run this. Now you can see that we have these items on this uh, checklist box. Now I will close this and I will add uh, some items to this uh, checklist box too programmatically. So for that, I will go, go and click uh, F7 to go to code. And now here, below this initialize component, I will say check this box two dot items dot add. And now I'll put in my name here. And then I will copy this. And paste it a few times. I will change these names. Now, if I run this, you will see that in the second checklist box, all these items are present. You can see this. Now, I will create a click event of this button, and on this button click, I will get the items from these uh, checklist box. So, I'll go to designer, and I will double click on this to create the plug button click event and now here I will use for each loop in check 
list box one dot check the items message box dot show item dot to string and now I've put semicolon here now if I run this and now if I uh, check an item in this uh, first checklist box and now if I click this button you can see two is shown now if I click a few uh, select a few and now if I click this button so each one of them will be shown here now similarly we can um, add a for loop for this as well so I'll copy this I'll paste it here and now I will make this two and now if I stop it and run it again And now if I check some names here, you will see that those names will be shown on this button click. Okay, and this one as well. Now if I check some in it, now first the first list box values will be shown and then the second list box okay now if i close this i will show you something in this there we have multiple state states in this uh, list box one is checked one is intermediate and one is unchecked actually it is check state dot checked now for this one I will use check state dot intermediate and for this one I will use check state dot unchecked and now if I run this you will see that this one is checked this is uh, one is an intermediate and this one uh, all the others are unchecked so that's all for today I hope you like the video and if you like the video please subscribe to my channel as well as don't forget to like and comment on my videos. Thank you.